Hello, my name is Taika Waititi from New Zealand. I know you've heard of it. I'm going to do a one scene breakdown from Thor. So just before this scene, there's a palace infiltration where Thor and Loki uh, team up together, basically trying to get into this, this hangar. Loki, I thought the world of you. This is a scene where Thor and Loki are basically saying their goodbyes. At the end of the day, you're you and I'm me. I know maybe they're still good in you, but let's be honest, our paths diverged a long time ago. The thing I like about this scene is um, it uh, really shows they do love each other. It's three setups. It's this, this two shot and then uh, two cameras covering, um, covering both characters. It is probably the most simple way you could ever shoot. Some would call it the laziest way. Here's the thing with these characters, they've got a very strong and long arc over the three movies and what we're trying to do here is to, um, is to try and break them apart. This is actually really important for Thor's character who now has given up on trying to save Loki and now he's letting Loki go. This basically was um, one of the simpler things to shoot and you'll be so amazed to hear this but this was shot on a blue screen so all of the stuff here behind them isn't real. Isn't real. No, it doesn't exist, doesn't exist, doesn't exist. The only real things that, uh, we, that we shot is uh, this guy and this guy. The key to this was pace. It's one of the few scenes that we didn't improvise. Um, we stuck mainly to the script. And the direction I gave to them was to uh, stand still and uh, know your lines and say them fast. Hey, let's do get help. What? Get help? No. Come on, you love it. I hate it. It's great. It works every time. It's humiliating. Do you have a better plan? No. We're doing it. On the day, obviously, Chris's muscles were a lot bigger. They kind of came out to about here. But we had to shape these later on because it was just too unbelievable. What else can I say about Chris? I mean, he's a perfect man, isn't he? We are not doing Get Help. Get Help! Well, the difference between doing drama and comedy is comedy is uh, 50 times harder. You need to think about pace, you need to think about what you're seeing. Comedy always plays better in uh, wider shots like this from the two shot. I like having the camera be still. Get help! Please! My brother's dying! Get help! Help him! Okay, well this is obviously not Tom, this is a, um, a stuntman. The shot before this is Tom, and then we, yeah, we cut out wider. This is the illusion of filmmaking, and you're using your editing. This here, and that, that is not Tom. Obviously actors are very valuable, and we do not want to damage the actor. And so in this shot here, this is a guy being thrown. Okay. Actually we're using wires, so he's probably got a harness on, got wires going up here. They will kind of go down around here into the background, there's probably a couple of guys like holding on to these, they pull, they're not this small, this is perspective, they're, off, they're back in the distance. They pull him and that's when he, he gets launched across into these guys. Oh, classic. Oh, still hate it. Well, now, so we have Loki um, popping up from, uh, from the bottom of frame. This shot wouldn't have been as funny um, if we just cut to Loki lying on the ground. In this one, we just wanted to keep this, this momentum going of them moving forward. Um, I think it's interesting that they now swap sides. Well, maybe there's something symbolic in that, that now they've swapped over, they've swapped sides, and there's a sort of, there's a crossing over emotionally. I've sort of shot this in a very similar way to how I shoot my other films. With this particular scene and with everything on Sakaar, we, um, we really concentrated a lot on, on these sort of Jack Kirby lines and um, you know, he was a huge influence on the design of the film. This was a very different experience for me shooting this film. My movies usually have taken anywhere between 25 and 35 days to shoot. This film was 85 days, so it was a lot longer. One interesting thing is that after every setup, we would do um, plates, so we shoot background plates of everything, and we'd also do passes of the, of the camera moves and whatever we've done without any actors in them. We've taken versions of clothes and stuff that we might have and you dance them through the set so that you can get references for texture and lighting on material. This, uh, you guys might be interested to, to know, this spaceship back here, I designed this, and it's now in a movie. And I didn't get paid for it. So, a very big sore point for me uh, with this movie. One of my biggest regrets is making Thor Ragnarok is that um, I haven't been acknowledged in my amazing design, which is essentially a box, a flying box. And nobody's done that before in the movies, except for me. Oh, classic. Oh, still hate it. Thank you for watching Notes on a Scene. You're welcome. <laughs>